science because if we say that that uh, the Earth was in existence on, before we got to day four, okay, and all of a sudden on day four, God dropped in the sun, moon, and stars. It, if I understand what Hugh is saying is we would have a big problem with gravity. In other words, the whole thing would be blown apart. Right. Wait a minute, right. wait a minute, wait a minute. We're talking about an infinite creator God here who's infinite in power. We're talking about a God who in Hezekiah's day, the shadow went backwards. We're talking about a God who in, in Joshua's day, um, from, from man's perspective, looking at the sun, the sun and the moon stopped in, in the sky. Uh, we're talking about a God who can do anything, who can create the universe, who sustains everything by we all, the power of We all of his agree word. That, the, that God can An do anything. An infinite creator God is, can is, do anything he wants. What, what does the but, text say there? That's the question. The text says God made the heavens and the earth and he made light and he made the sun, moon and stars on day four. Right, that's let, what the text let's says. Let's talk about, is that what the text says? I don't think that's what the text says. I mean, there are 20 creation accounts in the Bible and we have to look at all 20 to understand. Uh, 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 Hugh. When you look at the Psalms and Psalm 104 and Psalm 90, their poetic literature, Genesis 1 and the details in Genesis 2 are account of cosmology. You can't call the others creation accounts. There's no other account in the Bible that gives the origin of, of the earth, the origin of the sun, the moon, the stars, the, the, well, the, the, the origin of man, Isaiah? the origin of, of death, the origin of Hold sin, it. the origin of, of language, the origin of nations. All right, nations. All right let, let him answer. Okay. The prophet Isaiah says ten times as much about the origin and structure of the universe as Moses does in all five books. Hey, that's prof uh, you're talking about prophetic literature there. Genes Genesis poetic. is a historical narrative. Genesis is written as a cosmological account. Isaiah is not written that way. No, but I'm saying the information in there is accurate. There's all sorts of references to creation through the Bible, but this is an account of the history of the universe. Don't that none of the others are given as an account of the history of the universe. Are you actually saying that there are creation accounts elsewhere that contradict what's in Genesis? I mean, don't you agree that it's consistent? I'm saying the references to the creation account in Genesis elsewhere in the Bible are totally consistent with it, but they're not creation accounts as a history. Nevertheless, Genesis they is reveal written as truth. history. Okay, I mean, when Job 38 talks about how mm -hmm. God enshrouded the primordial earth in a cloud layer that wrapped it in darkness. We've we got to remember Job living after the flood and God is talking to Job, and, and Job is living in this post-fall, post-flood era, era. Yes, but what, isn't what he's declaring to us about, I mean, this is God speaking in Job 30. It's not Job. Mm -hmm. God himself is talking to Job and his friends. Oh, yeah. And he says, Job, let me tell you some things. In fact, one of the things Job, God even says in Job is, um, were you there when I laid the foundations of the earth? Reminding Job that he wasn't there, so listen to God.